Port Stephens Libraries acknowledges Australia's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, the traditional custodians of the land, waterways and skies across Australia. We thank you for sharing and caring for the Warramai land that we learn and play on. We pay our respects to elders past and present and we share our friendship and kindness. Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Sketch Mania. I'm Nikki, if you haven't met me already. So we usually meet here at the library um, once a week, um, but at the moment we just can't meet right up right now, so we might do some lessons on video. So just remember as we're videoing, you can pause the video at any time if you need to catch up. All right, so the first thing today we're going to learn, I wonder if these look familiar. We're going to learn pixel art. So we're going to use Minecraft, and I'm sure you all know about Minecraft. Okay, so we're going to use the squares inside the graphs to be able to draw some of our favourite characters. Who do we have here? I think this guy's name is Steve. <laughs> Steve, and everybody seems to like this character. It's a creeper. And then we've got other things that we can draw. These are quite difficult to draw, but it's a sword from Minecraft. Okay, so how, how long ago was Minecraft created? Can anyone guess? It was 11 years, 11 years ago. So if anybody is 11 years old now, you were born at the same time as Minecraft. All right, so we've got Minecraft, but many, 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 many years ago in ancient Greece and Rome, about 2,500 years ago, they used to make pictures using tiles and this kind of art was called mosaics. So this is made out of little bits of stone or little bits of ceramic. Then about in the 1880s, 140 years ago, we had this art which was called pointillism. And that's many, many, many lots of little dots that makes up a whole painting. This one was made by Charles Angard and it's called Couple in the Street. But if you look really closely, all it is is a whole lot of dots. This one here was made by George Surratt and it's called A Sunday Afternoon on the Island. And there's another one there too. So it's amazing what you can do with dots and squares. Um, if we look under here, we've got Minecraft, but we've also got lots of other characters. Who's that? Pikachu. <laughs> So we're going to have a go of this today. What you'll need is a pencil, a pen or a texter. You can add some colours as well if you want. A ruler and you'll need a rubber too. Okay, so get all those things. You can pause the tape if you want and we'll get started. All right. We'll also need, if you've got some graph paper, that's paper with lots of little squares on it. But they're very tiny, so there's another way you can do this. If you can get a grown-up to get on the internet and download some graph paper, that's what we'll have. Slightly bigger squares, okay? So what you'll need to do, if you want to draw any one of those, you've got to do a lot of counting. So we have to actually do a little bit of maths. Just some counting though, nothing too serious. And here's some examples of what I've done previously. So you have to count all the little squares. If he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you've got to count eight squares across. And then with your ruler, draw a line. Okay, and keep following. You've got how many squares down, how many squares till you get his, get his eyes and his nose and his mouth. Same with creeper. You've got to count one, two, three, and on the fourth square, you colour in that box. So this is using the graph paper, the little squares. There's creeper there. There's the sword. It was very tricky because it's on an angle. So you've got to do lots of little squares, but on an angle and count them all so that they can look like this. Very good. Okay, so what we might do is do a little bit of a drawing here. Let's see if we can do it. We don't have to draw from a picture on the internet. We can just draw our own drawing. 
So you, what I've done here is just done a really quick drawing of a sun with some spiky bits. It's not even ruled up, it's just random. Get your black pen and then start wherever the line hits, colour in that little box there. Colour, colour, colour. All right. And that line goes through that box. So you colour it in. Very good. You see I've done a horse here. I've just drawn the, a unicorn with a horn and I've just coloured in the boxes. And you can use colour as well as black and white, but I'm just using black and white today to um, show you how to do it. So I'd love to see your drawings. So if you want to, you can email them to us here at the library at tomarie, no, sorry, yeah, tomarie.library at gmail.com. All right, so we'll see you again. We'll do another lesson soon. Hope to see you. Bye now.